I'm Jan Heste and I'm the Dean of the School of Basic Sciences and a Professor of Mathematics. Well, these are systems that can learn and, and sense its uh, surroundings and uh, adapt its behavior from what it's learning. Well, there are two large uh, developments that have happened in the, in the last decade or even less. One is our ability to uh, sense at a very large scale uh, and a very high degree of, of detail. At the same time, we have the computational uh, resources and the algorithmic insight to begin to actually extract and act on the data to build systems that can learn dynamically and adapt to its surroundings. I think we will see a, a, a combination of, of, uh, of machine learning, artificial intelligence into fields where they traditionally perhaps have not been so much, uh, both in science and engineering, and will make uh, us push the boundaries of, uh, of what we can do uh, in terms of advanced modeling uh, and, and predictive science. Well, for the School of Basic Sciences, there is a number of groups that are very deeply involved in what we can characterize as parts of intelligent systems, in particular in math. There's a large group that works on the foundations of machine learning and artificial intelligence, trying to understand uh, when the methods work and when the methods fail. Um, obviously, this creates the foundation of, of how we can build intelligent systems that have some level of trust. Uh, at the same time, both in physics and in chemistry, there are large groups who are using um, various types of, of machine learning technology to either discover new materials or understand uh, complex imaging uh, and, and make decisions based on that. And thirdly, I would say CIS creates uh, an exciting opportunity to work with people in engineering who develops the sensors in computer science who, uh, where they, a lot of this sort of large-scale algorithmic work is going on, and also in the in ENAC, where um, there are interesting and very exciting activities on digital twins and structures uh, that adapt to its uh, surroundings. Well, I just mentioned some of them, but but in particular, I think in in imaging, advanced imaging analysis, there's uh, room for growth. Uh, I think also having a tighter integration with the mathematicians into some of the more applied projects will be of uh, mutual benefit for the mathematicians to understand uh, what the application people worry about, uh, concerned about, and for, the, and for the application people to have actually robust knowledge about what they can and cannot expect from their, from their computational work.